You gotta make four digits, Steve. That's the goal. <laughs> I think it'll, it'll make four digits, <laughs> that's easy. <laughs> Before I get to the dyno video and showing you how to tune a carburetor, new merch, new wagon shirts. Check it out. Nice, nice. Then we have here, we have, this is one of my, one of my new favorites right here. Because I often wonder, does my engine think about me? Not sure. Oh, then we have cool beanies. Let's see here. Warning, you might not look this good in your beanie, but it is what it is. Oh, we have the, uh, what do you call this color green? What is this green? Military green. Oh, I like the military. Party on. Rock on. Military green, long sleeve and short sleeve, right? The short sleeve has uh, the long all the way down this way. Then we also have uh, spark plug holders, multiple colors. Then... We all have that special friend, you know, that sometimes we take with us to places, you know, you take him to the racetrack with you and whatnot, or maybe he's at the racetrack and you guys hang out together and we're friends and man, we'd, we'd help this guy out, but you just can't take him everywhere because he's usually not dressed appropriately. This will help your nitrous friend be dressed appropriately. So when you want to uh, just send this to your, your nitrous buddy, that just hasn't quite seen the light yet, that you'd like and you hang out with, but you'd hang out with more if he was boosted, this is the shirt you need to send him. Feel free. Also, let's go over here. We have the Dubert Morris down here. Dubert edition shirts. Female tank tops. Then we got, <laughs> my wife's giving me the look. <clears throat> Long grays, hats, stickers. Uh, oh yeah, we got the, uh, I love big boost and I cannot lie. I love that. All right, now let's go over and get to Adam Kelly's dyno and on his new burnout car that he's taken to a competition. So they literally are stopped here. They're here in the morning before I even got here. Stopped here, gonna dyno, gonna tune it. They're gonna take it to the burnout contest, try to win 10 grand. So what I had to do there was, it's got a funny deal where it idles and does everything at one RPM in neutral, fine, uh, but he's putting it in gear and it would lean out, even though it's not the same RPM and basically the same map position. So it's interesting, just had to turn on the, uh, um, turn on the closed loop compensation and let it pick up these funny little spots it must get into, even though there's no funny spot there. I'm not exactly sure what it's doing. First hit, just a low RPM deal. Disregard the RPM, but uh, 967, uh, 1,435 foot-pounds of torque. First hit. So now I'll go up there and I'll look at the tune and uh, see what it was doing. And well, actually we'll go up there and I'll do that. Right here. Adam's actually opening up the tune. You open up the tune or the yep. catalog? I'm Steve Morris. Steve Morris Vision. <laughs> uh, looks like we're 3 0, so we're probably uh, rich, I would say. Pl plenty rich at 3 0. Does it try and take away? Yeah, see, so I was, I, since I made it negative, ten, nope, oh, nope. only taking out 10, that's all it took. Was the RPM there? 61. Uh, what did we go up to here? We went up to 60, 62. 6200 RPM. Okay. We got EGTs here. What kind of RPM do you want to run this thing at? Uh, at least 7500. Okay. No problem. All right. So EGTs are looking at a thousand. Otherwise, eight. Yeah, high that's 900. Pre pretty short on the EGT. So, or yeah. I'm sorry, yeah, pretty short way. on time. Yeah. So. Yo. All right. I think I. Even right there, we can, I think I'll, we'll lean it up just a tick and then we'll uh, make another hit here. Sounds good. 
and then then we'll pull out some spark plugs, verify plugs, to make sure everything looks mm. good. How much boost did we make? Oh yeah, seventeen. Seventeen pounds of boost. Seventeen and a half. All right. I'll well, see. That makes sense. Sounds about right. We got to make four digits, Steve. That's the goal. <laughs> I think it'll, it'll make four digits. <laughs> That's easy. <laughs> it's always the goal. Always the goal. All right. So. I'll take 10% or yeah, I'll probably take uh, 10, see 10, 10. I think we'll just shoot for a nice, super easy. I think we'll probably shoot for like 3.6, 3.6, 3.8, right around there. Well, at that, let's see, 3.6, just to be plenty safe, and then we'll read some keys from there. Perfect. All righty, made uh, corrections, leaned her up, and then we're making this pull, and we'll look at spark plugs. Yeah, now there on that pole, made more horsepower, but it's uh, I got too much load on the dyno, so it wouldn't let it go any further than what it wanted to. So we'll uh, decrease load on there, but uh, 1081 horsepower, 1646 torque. Don't get super hung up on the, on the torque number, it's the way it comes in and flashes up on the converter, and that's why the engine RPM. It's a long story, but that's why the disregard the our engine RPM on uh on these hub dynos until I get something fixed there. But uh, it's looking pretty sweet right now. So definitely made that. We'll go in, take a look at data. And uh, like I said, definitely picked up. Looks good. Yeah, definitely picked up, looks good. We'll look at EGTs, everything there. And uh, I think we'll definitely do some spark plug reads. That, that was a good pull to do spark plug reads on because it was loaded up solid. I mean, that's wide open throttle, not allowing it to rev. So we'll do a spark plug look and take, take a, uh, I'll show you those. Now here is the spark plug and you can see, see if I can get you, there we go. So that is pretty darn safe. That is your timing line right up there. It could definitely have more timing put in it. We're, we're at 20 right now and that's super safe. It makes the horsepower you need to make. I don't think we're going to do that. We're going to lean it up a little bit because it went to three, three. Instead of three five where we're hunting for, three five, three six. And uh, so I think we'll just leave the timing low and just play it safe and just lean up just a little bit. And then I'll slow that or uh, speed up the dyno because it's got a little too much load for it for that uh, uh, power level. All right, this is with uh, uh, same tune up, just leaned it up a little bit more, softened up the, the dyno so it'll accelerate past that now. So that was looked better. Still got a little too much load on the on the dyno. I'm gonna have to soften that up some more. But I got up there. I mean, that's that was 180 mile an hour wheel speed. So that's right in there. Uh, 11, 11, 19. So 1119 horsepower. Disregarded torque number up, up. The reason why it gets these great big torque spices. That's all how you drive it. So because it's great big hit from whacking in throttle, from basically going from, you know, basically idle, just revving it up a little bit and then whacking it. It really jumps up there. Uh, that's converter that's doing that. And then it tames down and then these are more accurate numbers through here. All right, let's take a look at that. So that was pretty good. That's a 180 mile an hour wheel speed. I don't imagine why I'm turning 8,000 RPMs. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm RPM was that? That was a peak of 69.53. Right at 7,000, basically. Yep. So we're still pulling 10% fuel. We're at yep. three and a half, but all right. Rather have it fat than lean. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah, I think we're I think we're right there. 
And then 17.8, a little more boost, obviously a little more RPM, so. Yep, yep. And only 85% throttle, maybe I should open it up. Don't be a pussy. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it's over here. I know. The freaking pedal's over here. There's the brake pedal. They're over here. Over there. Oh. Here's, here's the throttle pedal. This is why I'm not driving it. <laughs> That's what happens when you put a Hemi nine inches back into the firewall. Yeah. Okay. I, I think we're good. All right. No, I think you're. I think you're right on the money here. So, what's the EGTs look like? Look nice. Same thing. Thousand ten. Nice. Okay. Down to like nine twenty five. The lowest. All right. So everything's in between there. So. Yeah, that's a good. That's a nice, good hard load on the dyno right there. So I think that's pretty. I mean, you know, for the pull, it wasn't like it's super fast. So it's got enough load on it. That's. Yeah. You don't. You're never gonna have that load on no. it doing a burnout ever. Literally ever. six percent TPS is about the most I see. Yeah. See, hear that? Say that again. So, what's the usually what is the maximum throttle position on your other trucks? So, Death Trap makes I, would, I think we made 1100 horse on that. Yep. And I might have 60% throttle on the tip end. After that, it's literally 6 to 10%, and that's turning 7500 RPM. Yep. yep. With like one pound of boost. Yeah. So, the blowers, they're all show. They're all show. <laughs> <laughs> they get it there instantaneously yeah and they will recover they yes. will, they do recover fast better than a turbo I mean, yes I can just blip the throttle but right yeah. yeah you can just blip it so yeah like when i was driving when i was driving splinter that's the other thing it's like i was trying to figure out the throttle position on it and there's carbureted so yep. it was a little it seemed to be a uh it wanted to drop down uh too much uh at because i was closing the throttle i mean oh you know yep. six yeah five six percent ten percent exactly i would, yeah. can't measure it because it didn't have a data log on it but yeah, I mean, it's trying to figure out that throttle position because you can just whack it and it just goes zing, right up to yeah. the rev limiter, just Especially sits there and kills itself. Little tires like you do. So. Yeah. Yep. I don't know. Do we need to end this off with just a little bit? In the park? I don't have good burnout tires, but you, yeah, no, we'll end this. We'll end this out in the parking lot like every time. <laughs> you can't not do it. You have to. Okay. Oh, the mass, everything here. It's crazy. Oh, of course, it's kind of wet. I'm not sure if it's gonna be real doable. That's how you leave Steve Morris in style. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you, I might pull a Steve Morris. That was all the brakes I had, that was slight. <laughs> I said there's a lot of stuff going on here with a lot of vehicles. <laughs> totally under control. Totally under control, always. What do you think, Dewey? All right, we're out. <laughs>